Iraq's prime minister has declared an end to the Islamic so state's so-called caliphate. And in Syria, the last remaining ISIS fighters in Iraq are surrounded by U.S.-backed forces. Holly Williams traveled to a village in Raqqa province where she met men and women who fell under the influence of ISIS and joined the group. She is in Kobani in northern Syria with what life is like inside of ISIS. Holly, good morning. Good morning. America's anti-ISIS envoy, Brett McGurk, said this week that the U.S. mission here in Syria is to make sure that all foreign ISIS fighters still in Raqqa die in Raqqa. But we've been meeting with a group of former ISIS fighters who either defected or were captured. Some of them were men, others just teenagers. All of them served time in prison for fighting with ISIS and have now been released and reunited with their families. <laughs> America's allies on the ground here in Syria say they've been reformed. <inaudible> Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi and other ISIS leaders led a reign of terror, a vicious interpretation of Islam unrecognizable to the vast majority of Muslims. But Ali Hamad, a former farmer, told us he joined ISIS not because he wanted to kill in the name of his religion, but out of desperation. We were hungry, he told us, and there were no job opportunities. Tens of thousands of people are fleeing Raqqa as US-backed forces close in on the extremists. In this refugee camp, these Indonesian women told us they joined ISIS in 2015, traveling 5,000 miles because they believed ISIS propaganda. If you go there, you've moved to their place, you go to the paradise because you are the real Muslim. In reality, they told us they were abused and their male relatives imprisoned by the extremists because they refused to fight. They ran away two weeks ago, they said, and are too frightened of retribution from ISIS to show their faces. We are still so stupid. No, not just naive, we are stupid. Yeah, we, 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 we deceive very easily. ISIS and its so-called Islamic State prey on poverty and ignorance. They claim to be waging holy war against the West, but in truth, they've inflicted terrible harm on Muslims. Nora. Great reporting, Holly Williams, in Syria. Thank you.